Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsasty, and welcome back to Beltless Factorio. And at the end of the last episode, I did mislead you. Or I did not know better, because I hinted that we might go towards the flying robot frames. But seeing that now we are producing some uh, um, uh, low density structures, which is good. However, we are not producing enough. If we uh, uh, look in here over the last 10 minutes, we have an average of not 10 light dens low density structures per minute. That's not enough for our needs. So we need more setups like this. And if we look in here, now we can see uh, all our steel uh, pickups are blue again, which means we do not have enough uh, steel. Um, same for the copper only. Iron, there we have something to pick up. Uh, but iron, that's, that's not what we need for that. So I think maybe we will hook up this copper field and do it a bit differently because um, with the setup that we have here is we pick up the ore uh, shift it over to our furnace array where we have uh, 12 furnaces uh, per square and then we have to shift the output but what if we basically have a setup like uh, this where we bring in the ore from the uh, miners distributed to various furnaces and then pick up the plates directly and if that works for copper then we basically could also hook up uh, maybe something for seal on here, maybe, maybe, or here in the back, or a different field. Uh, we shall see. Let's do the copper ore first, so that by the end of this episode we can put in a second massive square for light density structures right next to here or maybe here or there we will see where it makes sense up here we have some kind of working setup as you can see not all furnaces are working but more than half is and this uh, station is set up aside from uh, um, the station itself and this would then be copper plate loading so this is another um, loading station and the only drawback that we have here is that because of the layout we cross over here the uh, output line so we have on this one two long-handed inserters which are basically the bottleneck so what i was thinking we could do in the next setup is space the miners one further apart uh, so that uh, the chests then uh, line up and uh, we can do this here 
on top, adding a second uh, copper array and uh, see how that then uh, works out. And if we have perfected it with uh, copper, then we can take the next step and hook up an uh, iron field. There we have one uh, non-closer. Oh, well, maybe we can basically hook something up here in the in the back um, to build us a steel loading station. But let's first figure out how to improve this setup. Now this is a way better setup, but as you can see from all the blinking, I have not yet connected it up because Looking at our consumption power-wise, it's not looking that great. Uh, so probably we should add a few more solar panels first and accumulators before we uh, uh, hook this one up. And then hopefully have a look at... Um, at how the production of copper uh, jumped. And uh, then we can try to do the same with uh, steel. I think iron, we are good for the moment. So, yeah. Let me grab a few accumulators. Ooh, chest is full. And a bunch of solar panels. And then we do have uh, one brand new waiting station um, that we can um, fill up with uh, solar panels. And I think here we also have a bit of space and here on the side we have quite a bit of space. So probably more space than solar panels, but we will see. With this solar panel array up here, we should have enough power um, to at least get us through the day without steam power. Night might be a bit tricky, uh, but we will see. Uh, so now it's actually time to hook this up. And uh, if we look at the, at the power, we can see it's going up. Miners are going up. The... Uh, Fast inserters are going up, and of course, the electric furnaces are going up. And here we see the steam turbines kicking in as solar power is going down, and we are using power from the accumulators. Hopefully, uh, this mix will be enough to get us through the night because steam engines alone will not uh, cut it. Uh, but we have uh, almost reached uh, half the night and accumulator charge is still good. And uh, once the uh, sun comes out again, we do have quite a bit more power than uh, at least we need it here. Hopefully, even with the uh, with the additional uh, amount of uh, power we need, uh, we will be good. But this is looking good. I'm wondering. Okay, 
we have one single ore in here. Otherwise, this is working. And here on this side, we have less furnaces uh, going as we only have basically uh, miners on one side here. But I think this setup works perfectly. So um, next thing is let's do the same thing uh, for at the iron field, but then uh, instead of loading the iron, uh, we will put that back into furnaces and uh, make steel out of it. This monstrosity should give us quite a bit of uh, steel. We have the iron part here in the top and then lower down uh, one over. So we uh, basically take the output of the iron smelting as the input of the steel smelting and then here to the loading station. As you can see here by the long-handed inserters, the whole thing is one block off. So that's something I have remedied up here. However, I have not yet set anything up here. We will do that when we need it, because I imagine this whole thing will eat quite a bit of uh, of power so apparently here we are needing some and then everything starts up and looking at the power yes yeah, solar power uh, is coming in uh, but we are already uh, at uh, at the max and uh, the steam is still going strong and here you can see uh, these are the accumulators oh, accumulators are loading so uh, uh, that's for sure some power drain there but now we have reached the top and uh, once the accumulators are loaded, we will see um, uh, how much power we can cover from the solar panels alone. And if we might need additional solar arrays. I would actually imagine so. There we have it. Yeah, here this gap that's not not that that big. So what we will do now is uh, go over here at a second uh, factory for low density structures, and then we will have a final look um, at how much more steel and copper we are producing with uh, the new setup that we have put in place in this episode. The second factory is now also in place and with the second factory also come a few more solar panels so that we get a decent amount of power out of that so that we can cover a bit less than half our uh, usual need uh, during daytime and it looks we make it through the night with accumulators and our steam turbines. I also added uh, a few more trains to pick up uh, the uh, steel, the plastic and the copper plates to deliver here so that now we have one train per delivery station uh, and big question now is how does the production look like and we probably want to have a look at it 
for the last 10 hours we are interested in uh, copper and steel and we can for the copper we can see two jump ups that's where we added the two uh, furnace arrays on the uh, on the on the field directly we go from uh, somewhat over 900 to uh, almost 2000 so we are more than doubling the uh, output here with not the double amount of miners we can also see uh, the uh, the mining uh, follows that line pretty closely and then for the steel it's not i mean compared to uh, copper it's not that big a jump but if we uh remove copper we can see we go from two about 200 to what's this 350 so it's not uh, uh doubling the amount but we only added one uh, side one side of the of the field with the with the miners so that should be good as well and if we have a look at the uh, uh, low density structures we can see we have been here uh, uh, around about 18 per minute and now we are at 25 so i mean and this is a bit delayed because we just put in those those trains but we can see the different that that it makes and the the interesting uh, comparison here is then always um, to have the production and the the consumption here. Uh, so uh, we also need uh, plastics. Where are they? Apparently we did not produce any plastic in the last minute. Let's let's go to this view, and here we can see uh, 1.6 k per minute for copper, 1.4 k per minute consumption. So we are producing more than we need. We have 333 steel per minute, and we. Uh, consume 249 250 so that's further below and then plastic uh, we produce 300 we consume uh, 350 so maybe we need another uh, uh, plastic plant uh, or we need to see why we have not produced any uh, might be that we are lacking copper uh, now we are yeah yeah we do not have too much uh, coal there uh, maybe a second coal train would help here uh, because if the copper production is stifled because we have not enough coal uh, in the chests that would be a bad thing because currently we do have enough petroleum gas but that's it for today hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time uh, when hopefully i can fulfill the promise and make a step towards uh, the yellow signs until then goodbye